you wrote that to me that was very bad you should never do that again what what are you talking about i didn't do anything wrong it's your fault like you're always such a hassle like you're always always arguing with me and i just want peace but I you you keep picking at me but i also choose peace but see look at you you always bring it to a chaos <sighs> I don't. It's your fault. You are the problem here in our relationship. It's you your are fault. The problem. It is You're the problem. problem. Because of you, we are not coming into harmonious union. It's, 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 not, it's not me. I mean, I said I'd come to India. You are just not moving here. You just I tried my best to move to UK, but that did not work. So the block is in you, not in me. No, I don't think so. I think we should come and live here together. Hmm. Okay. So, hello. I am Madhu. I'm Valentina. So, we are not fighting or actually we do this in the real life. So, we just wanted to show that this is how we fight and basically you must resonate that you must have been doing this with your twin flame, right? So, today we are going to present with you the topic why does twin flame fight with each other? so we'll go in deeper what exactly it means what is the spiritual realization and uh, how you can move through it easily okay so we are not fighting so we'll share with you right. how to handle it <laughs> we do it <laughs> in the right. real life <laughs> okay so um, basically i uh, i will start and uh, then uh, you can share what comes to your heart okay mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so why do you fight basically at the if you see uh, twin flames are not created to fight with each other at the center of your heart there is harmony only harmony and love right the fighting phase is just that both of you are going to reflect each other's block mm-hmm. and then so that you can heal and grow into your true self that is the only purpose why the fight is happening right and then basically i always give example that you don't feel like fighting with a person on the road right but this is the person with whom you fight because you want to express right you want to you know release that misalignment so that you can ground your harmonious union right that is why you are constantly trying to you know how to bring that love and you twin flame is trying to do that but basically you know it looks like that you are fighting but at the center of your heart both of you really want to love each other and you are trying to fix the another person that is the problem right so how do you feel what's your take away on this we we fought right recently <laughs> yeah two days ago we did actually have um you know an argument we were writing over facebook messenger and um basically when you know that things are not harmonious in your union with your twin flame and when i say not harmonious i'm not saying that all the work you've done before that has gone i'm just saying that that part of you no matter how big or how small it is it does not feel har- harmo- harmonious and um it means that you have a misalignment with god it doesn't matter how big or how tiny tiny it is it will come up for healing because love is only love and there's nothing else mixed with it so yeah um so basically when you're when it's starting to not feel good with you and your twin flame that something is coming up that has to be released yeah. it just starts to feel like um you don't feel peaceful within and fear comes up um so it comes up to be released that's all so don't worry about it it's just coming up to be healed and that's why it it's happening um, so that you can heal it and let it go and in that area you have peace and love and it means that all of your consciousness is more loving and peaceful overall the healing that you do is eternal every little mirror exercise you do is eternal healing so yeah so that's what it's like um you can work through it you can you know you can work through it so i'll basically tell you what it was like for me so i felt this disharmony within me and then me and my twin flame me and my do were like you know like in our acting that we did at the start we were like that oh this is your fault why are you not doing this why are you doing that instead and then i said right okay i said to myself there's disharmony within me 
what did I do? I made myself a cup of tea, I chilled, and then I just sat and I felt into my heart, what is upsetting you? Okay, I'm upset with myself. What was upset again? I'm upset with myself um, because I don't understand myself. Okay, is there any truth to, to this? Yes. Do you see that part of yourself who doesn't understand herself? Yes. What does she need? Just give her everything she needs. And do step one as well. If it's about something outside of you, your twin flame or whoever, put that step one in first. Or if it's just something that you know that you're upsetting yourself and you already acknowledge that, you can move on to step two. If you don't, you need to always add step one. Do the healing, right? And then I felt like, no, it's, it's better. It, I've... I've integrated that part myself it feels better but it's still not feeling peaceful what is the next thing that comes up and then I feel into my heart what is that and then I do the mirror exercise for that one um what did I tell you again what was what I can't even remember what the upset was um specifically yeah, yeah basically this is what it happens this is how it looks like when you heal the upset you even forget you know what you move through <laughs> yeah. this is actually a sign <laughs> that the block is healed and it, this is very normal, like if you have fought with your twin flame and you are holding on to the resentment and uh, believing that um, nothing can be fixed, uh, that is not true, right? Because only love is real, only love is true and love is eternal. Fight is not eternal, right? God did not create fight, ego has created the fight, right? So the fight energy is moving through, we are moving through the fight energy, right? And when we are healing, even we don't remember on which we fought, right? Because we made another choice and we are back to normal, right? So you just forget about it, right? And basically, I want to share uh, one uh, paragraph from this book. This is a very beautiful book. I, we highly recommend it is like Twin Flames, Finding Your Ultimate Lover by Jeff and Shilia. You can find it on uh, uh, Amazon. And uh, the, basically, I recommend this book when you are struggling with mirror exercise. This book has a detailed step which can help you uh, uh, how to do the mirror exercise properly so that you can get the result, right? So in basically what happens is if you even if you are fighting and in your heart you know that there is nothing wrong you have done, so you just stay in that peace within you. You really don't have to... Uh, flow with the upset that your twin flame is moving through right so when she was upset so I just felt like okay maybe yeah she is moving through something so I just said okay I, I will work on it or I said something like that what I remember and then I just did my inner work and held peace within me right so this uh, book have written very beautiful paragraph related to compassion uh, compassion is one of the foundation of your twin flame harmonious union Right. So it says having compassion for your twin flame means loving them so much. You allow them to move through whatever it is they need to go through in order to heal. It means sticking with them through whatever their challenge and experience is. Even if you already have the answer, they choose to not listen to you. Okay. So you may feel like, okay, why they are not listening to me? I'm telling the right thing. They're doing whatever they want. But you need to understand that, you know, you twin flame has their own free will and they are going to move through it. They are going to process it in their way, right? So it is basically in those moments, all that you need to do is do your own mirror work, mirror exercise on the upset that you are moving through and hold compassion that when your union is grounded in love, uh, you know, either he or she, whoever is your twin flame, they are going to come back to that love because that is where they, both of you find home, right? So nothing can separate, not even a small fight. Yeah, you want to not even a big fight doesn't matter. <laughs> yeah, we, we we fight a lot, so don't worry. We are moving through a fighting page. <laughs> yeah, this, but, is, this is not like that. We are fighting because to have fun. Yeah. Because basically we are very close to our harmonious union. These fights are actually showing us our blocks and we are mm -hmm. moving through it quicker. That is how we see it. Yeah, bring it on. <laughs> <laughs> yes. 
and you yeah. can simply mirror right like and you know, i am fighting with myself right if you see like okay i am fighting with valentina it's never going to resolve right it is always a fight within you uh, between ego and uh, love that's what the root that's where the root is mm. and it's funny i do the same i heal the same part of myself that my do does it we're healing this we're doing the same healing but it just looks differently so i don't write it like my do i write it like i'm upset with myself because i feel disharmony in within myself or the first day and i feel disharmony between my do and i i feel disharmony with with myself really that is and they uh, so it might just look different the way you write out the mirror exercise like how you relate to the argument but in effect you're just healing the same block together yeah yeah what matters is what's the truth right we are the truth seeker right we are finding the love we are here to find the love right mm-hmm. so when the upsets are healed you will end up with love only so no need to hold on to the fight it's normal to inflames fight and the mm-hmm. only purpose is to bring up the upset bring up the blocks so that you can heal it at the core there is only harmony and love between you and your twin flame thank you for watching us thank you guys bye bye bye